Okay, okay here we are for the children. Can you identify yourself? Uh, Damien Walsh, the director of the shop front in Maylands. The, uh, there are approximately 9,000 West Australians homeless every day. Now, this figure can be broken down into about 800 who are living rough. The biggest number, though, is the really disturbing figure is there are just over 3,500 people under 18. That can be subdivided into more than 2,600 children under 12 who are technically homeless. Overcrowded accommodation, couch surfing, really struggling with their parents, sometimes a single mum or dad, to find suitable accommodation. And where are they now at the moment, Damien? Scattered throughout the metro area. The biggest problem area would be in that corridor between Perth through to Armadale, along that Armadale railway line. The most recent research from Notre Dame University shows that that corridor has the greatest poverty and homelessness in any sub-region in the metro area. Mm. What's the um, biggest challenges for these homeless parents and their children? Yeah. The biggest problem is the danger of being homeless. Physical, mental, sexual, emotional abuse, which is immediate but has long-lasting, if not life changing effects on people's mm. So what do you think the uh, passengers said the priority is just get them off the streets. Would you agree with that? Not necessarily. I think that's a short term fix. Yes it is a priority but then what happens in a short period after? They're back on the streets. We really need to look at a bigger picture to find some long term solution. And long term can be anything from 12, 18 months onwards. It doesn't have to be 3 to 5 years. Uh, have are there any plans out there that would uh, facilitate that, that change? At this point in time there's lots of discussion, but nothing hard, concrete plans, no. Yeah, when you say discussion, is that with government? Or government, government, mainly led by the non-profit sector. Right. But the, but the state level, WA state government is at least open to discussion. Yes. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much for that, Damien. Much appreciated. Pleasure. And um, you go and you talk to different organisations. Which ones are those? Yeah, predominantly uh, in education institutes, but in the both the government and the non-government sector. Usually yeah. students, occasionally with staff forums. All right. And those stats you gave us are they from the Australian Bureau of Statistics? But they are the most. They are the most recent stats. All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Damien. Pleasure. And good luck. Ta.